Okay, so good morning everyone uh, for, my, for our first uh, input for this workshop, technical input. Um, we were asked to have a short overview on, the, on our experiences. So we were initiating originally this project and therefore we are also coordinator because we have tested this methodology in a rural area already and we think this is uh, not a thing uh, to be done in Austria only, but to be spread out all over Europe. And that's why we initiated this project actually, uh, with the idea and with our experiences we made in our test case already. So this was our approach and therefore I want to give you some information about our experiences in our test case. These are the goals from, for taken from the, from the description of work in, from our project. We are talking about active mobility consultancy and these are uh, the main issues. So we want to have actively information to the, to the potential or existing clients of public transport, mainly on public transport, uh, but we want to include accompanying uh, events and measures uh, like we have mentioned this in, in our description of work, like traveler trainings that people get better knowledge about the public transport system at all. So behavior change is the one thing, it's of course a very important issue on our project, but with this accompanying, of course all these uh, events are aiming to accompany the behavioral change of course, uh, like we have here uh, something written down. Uh, and the other thing is what is very important, and this is also very important for the uh, AMC campaigning, is that we do not spread out general information, not only, of course we also spread out general information like a timetable of a bus line, but we especially concentrate on individual information on the, on the people, what their specific needs are, what their origins and destinations are, to develop, for example, individual timetables are very important that the client sees this is nothing that we send out to everyone. We are really interested in his specific case and that's also one key of success in this campaigning. Uh, that the client or potential client, user of public transport, feel himself as specific and individual person and not one, one brick out of the wall. And another issue is, as we are talking about rural areas, uh, we assume that in all our rural areas the public transport supply is very, very uh, sparsely. It's very raw uh, or, or insufficient and therefore we need some supplementing uh, mobility offers to, to deal with the first and the last mile to get to the bus stop where you have an adequate uh, bus system. And this was also is a very important aspect in our project. Okay, next please. Yeah, as it's already circulated this paper, hopefully we have more or less the same uh, outcome. Uh, I also tried to, to again uh, uh, give the main points here. So we have the contact phase, we have to also discuss about the contact phase uh, where we distribute the, the information. So we have also to discuss how we do this, so how we get the addresses. Uh, who, which persons we, we do contact and how we do contact. We have also some problems also we have to discuss with privacy issues. For example, it's not possible in European U Union law to directly contact and do direct telephone marketing, so we cannot directly call them. So first we need a written agreement on them that he's willing to participate or something like this. There are some, also some, some, some aspects on privacy, but also some technical is aspects and we do not know about availability in our cases uh, in, in our te test cases in the project, how you can access the addresses, for example. Then we have the segmentation phase, so if the people uh, we contact, the target persons, they react. Uh, how do, do they react? Usually we have four groups. We have public transport user already existing and they are happy and they are fine with everything. We have public transport user, but still they have some need of information and they feel this is a good occasion to raise questions they ever wanted to raise questions. You will later on, see later on the segmentation. Then we have non-users, and non-users, they are not interested, they say, don't bother me, I'm, I'm convinced car driver. Uh, and also we have to discuss how to deal with this. And then we have non-users, but in principle they are interested, they know to have sustainable behavior uh, is, is a common goal, and they, they, they usually they, they know that they should lose some weight and to use more bicycle or more public transport. So they have, there is a, some, some 
motivation in them, but we have to awake this motivation. Uh, and after this group, we have to treat the persons in different ways afterwards. The encouragement phase means that we have also give public transport user a positive feedback, because usually people, they behave with, uh, in, in the right way. Uh, usually they do not receive any positive feedback that they use public transport every day. Uh, we think this is a normal thing, but uh, we can also very, str uh, we, can, we can strengthen a lot the, the usage of public transport when we give for the first time a public transport user a positive feedback that said you are the one who behaves sustainable and congratulations for your behavior, for example. This is a very short and cheap thing and could also really uh, connect the people to the users and make them to a even more convinced users. And also, sometimes maybe they have some small problems and we can listen to them and also say, okay, we will collect them and we will forward this to the public transport operator, for example. So this is also included in this point. Next, please. So the next phase then is the motivation phase. Uh, we're sending out the information. Again, I, I mentioned already, this information is a package of both. They are of three, of three things mainly. The first thing is general information, like for example, a general timetable of a bus line or a, net, a network of the region. Individual information, what is very important that, as I mentioned before, the, the potential user or the user sees that he really is treated as an individual person. So we have some examples. I will give you later what we have done. And then we have a third uh, section, with small presents, like giveaways, like, like pens or, or pocket lights or something like this. You will also see what we have done, for example, in our case, uh, in our test case. Uh, also as a door opener also, that they start to fill in this uh, wish list what you send out, that you say if you send out, if you ask for the timetable and for individual timetable maybe or original bus network line and you ask also for a pocket light or for an umbrella, I think for example in Burgos it's very nice uh, that you can have an, an umbrella as a present, uh, as we learned already. Uh, that's a door opener and also then people are willing to fill in and also to get the other information just because they want to claim the, the, the present. We have produced these, these uh, things here. This is just already so you see this is a, the, the, the brand mark of the, of, the, of the line. And this was handed over individually. So all people, we, we encouraged some students and they had the list of address. And within they have the, all the package with the things ordered in it. And also the presents and everything like this. For example, just put out one. So just the pocket timetable, for example, of a bus line or other similar things. And these were handed out individually uh, by ringing on the door bell and just hand over it personally or just hang it on the door bell because he's not accessible. Uh, and then we have the convincing phase also. We also offer those people if they, have, they need a, a, a dialogue, a, an individual uh, talk with, with uh, some public transport experts because they have more complex questions. We also offer these people uh, these uh, personal talks uh, with some experts also to solve maybe some mobility questions, some mobility races, and also you have to arrange a date, a meeting, but of course you have to know who will gonna do this. This is, cannot be done by just a student because this should be really an expert that really this guy can explain basic things uh, just ad hoc uh, in, in these uh, talks. Okay, and now to the, I just uh, show you this uh, material we developed and now this is our test case study. This was done two years before. Uh, this is the Waldviertel, this is the northwestern part of, of uh, the province of Lower Austria. So Vienna is somewhere here in the southeast from this region. And we selected two lines. The one line is here, this yellow line here, goes down to Krems, and Krems do have an um, regional train linking to Vienna, but also Krems is a, it's one of the major cities in the region. It's also a destination. And this is this line here. Uh, this line runs from Monday to Friday, so it's mainly for, for work, work travel and, and students travel. Uh, and this is on the peak time, a one hour service headway uh, and two hours in off peak time. And then we had another, uh, Another line, this comes from Rastenfeld to Horn. Horn is a town also in the region. And this is a 
uh, we can also define this already as a kind of a feeder bus system because the, the main targets are not you know, on this line and also the timetable is is not too uh, too offensive so we have just three or four buses just one in the morning and the second in the morning and one in midday and one in the evening so they have really a uh, very really poor timetable on these lines. And we have tested this procedure on these two uh, lines. Next, please. So you have the timeline here from these steps, uh, just to see what, how, what is the time between more or less the initiating phase and, the, and the more or less the, the main thing, what we have sent out. So you've seen we've started in, in May with the first information letter to the, to the target persons, and we ended in July, so we take about two months uh, work between all these uh, working steps in between. Uh, I have already mentioned, so this is just to see. Okay, on the next slide you see here the segmentation of the houses, so how have they uh, reacted on our contacts. And you can see, uh, let's say the success is that we have a segmentation of 56% of non-public transport users they are interested to join the campaign and to ask for further information. Uh, and, but it's also interesting that the public transport users themselves are also interested. Uh, we have 28% of public transport users, they also ask for additional information because they wanted to raise questions. They would wanted to raise uh, always, but they have not the motivation to actively contact a person. Uh, of, the, of the public transport operator in charge to get this information, but take this, this chance for the, for the, uh, to receive the information. And we have only a little share of 13% of public transport users, of non-public transport users, they say they are not interested at all in this uh, activity, in this AMC consul uh, consulting campaign, and another 4% of public transport users, they are already using public transport users and said, I'm happy with this information I have got already and I can help myself so there is no need for further information. So that's the distribution in our case study in the Waldviertel uh, from this further campaign before we start the European project. Okay, so this is the, so then all people were interested to get, uh, get, uh, get uh, received a, a kind of a questionnaire, short questionnaire with the items they could pick, what they are interested in. And this is the distribution of the, of the orders. So we had, in the, our case, we had five, 568 uh, listed, uh, lists to, we, we received from, from the regions, from the persons. And this is just the distribution. You see the regional map, the bus network map, and the, the timetable of, of a specific line all these kind of things, uh, we offer them in the list. Of course, in the preparation phase, you have to collect all this data and you have to clear also yourself what you can offer to the people. Uh, for example, in our time, we have also these, uh, these individual timetables that we ask the people then, okay, if you are interested in your individual timetable, please say, tell me your starting point, your end point, maybe a time frame within, uh, we, can, we can work out this individual timetable. Uh, what was also very much in, in, in interesting from the people were that we also make a cost comparison. Uh, I do not find it on the list here now, but, but uh, that we ask for the people, uh, tell me what is your car and we will calculate the cost from your cars against uh, if you do it on also, you ask for the frequency, how often you travel this trip. Is it on daily basis or only two times a week? And then we make a cost comparison between the public transport ticket and the car driver t uh, or the car ticket. But the car ticket is not only the fuel, but it's not the full list including depreciation, but some maintenance work is included. So we have um, some, some middle value that people really trust. Okay, that, that's a fair value on, on the cost of the car. But again, we individualize it to the specific car. So the, the fuel consumption really we, we calculated based on the information we received from the, from the people uh, owning the cars. Uh, and as I said, also as a kind of door opener and also people are more willing if they get a presence to fill in such a table and through these presents uh, of course they can order here uh, uh, and, and receive the information what is our main goal. And we offered in our case 
an umbrella. As you see, it's also very much raining in Austria. This was the most uh, demanded uh, item uh, people asked, but we also offered a pocket light uh, because usually on the public transport stops in the in the in the area there is no light available maybe so you have for just for reading the timetable or just to find your way home by walking afterwards um, or we have an isolated mug so a, a coffee cup uh, that you can take with you on the bus and drink your coffee in the bus or at the station uh, to get warm yourself or you have a wash bag we were just kidding is that we, when you're losing the last link to your home office you have to stay overnight somewhere outside <laughs> We can, you can use the wash bag. Uh, what we made in this test phase also, we made an evaluation after they received the material. We waited a little bit and we made two evaluations. First, we make passengers counting on the bus before, after, and some reference lines. I will show it just in a minute. And we made also some uh, die contacts again. Are you satisfied with this information? Does it meet your experiences and so on? And you see in general, all the people replied are very positive on these uh, activities. You see 94% really received this as an additional information what they maybe did not know before. For example, about the prices, how the, uh, of the tickets and so far. 58% were motivated to use public transport more often as before, as they get this contact and this impulse from outside. Uh, what is also we ask for is about how is the multiplicator effect on this. So because we do not reach all the persons, but maybe if someone is talking to his neighbor, ah, I got the present, or it's just he's running with his umbrella and says, yeah, I got the umbrella. So I'm a public transport user, so I get this as a present or something. So we have some multiplicator effects. You see uh, every, every second one is, uh, is uh, talking also to others about this activity. And also they said this was a nice action. So really, and also this is a, a tricky thing. Uh, really, we have to get the feeling to the clients, to, to our target persons, that we do not sell shoes or t-shirts or we ask for some, some, some donor, donors, donors for donations for, a, I don't know, a, as you know, usually what people stand on the door or for a Christian, uh, uh, for, a, for, for Christian or some other society like Scientology, really we only want to, we all together want to be more sustainable. And that's the main target. We do not want to sell you something. We only want to discuss on a very objective way what are the advantages. Also, of course, we have to accept these advantages uh, with the persons and also we have to understand this. And if they are right, then they, you have to agree on that. Also, if you have the telephones, if you say, come on, I'm, I'm a baker and I have to start my work at 4 o'clock, I have no offer, I have to use the car. Is it okay? That's, that's fine. It's no problem about that. But Again, we have to concentrate on the potential users. They really just behave, and and uh, and, and the, the change, the behavioral change, is not too uh, it's not too uh, too problematic for them. Yeah, and also this was the recommendation. Also, therefore, we initiated, of course, the European project. Uh, Ninety-one percent supported the idea that this should be done in other regions as well because they think it's a good idea. Yeah, this is also a sm small table also to get an, a, an idea about uh, how many people we contacted and at the end uh, uh, how many we lost. So for example, this is the Waldviertel case, just concentrate on the left uh, column. So we sent out 100% of, of persons, so we had 7%, the address list was outdated from this CD-ROM because some years go away, people move away from the region or die or some, something else happened. Uh, so 54% of this CD-ROM, we could really get contact to the persons, as Oliver mentioned. Okay, and from this 100% uh, contacted, 84%, you see the, 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 the diagram before, uh, were really interested. And, but of course some say, okay, I'm interested, send me some information just to end up with the, with the telephone call or the contact. Uh, but again, from this 84%, 65% also replied this wish list with the presence, with the timetable, again, and ordered really the, this information. Uh, this is another case study in Upper Austria. So we were talking about Lower Austria. This is just the next province on the west, uh, direction to Germany, Upper Austria. And uh, you see we have similar figures. Interesting that, for example, the database was more rubbish in this area. We lost 24% because the the, the address list were outdated. Uh, and here you see, for example, 
that there were less people interested, but at the re a higher level on, on these people stated their interest re replied on, on our uh, material we have sent out this order list. Yeah, and this is exactly the, the evaluation of the success at all. So, of course, the satisfaction is, is, an, is, an, uh, is an indicator of success, but as I already said, the, uh, really what counts is the additional users in the public transport system. And what we see here is we have two lines, the Waldviertel Linie 1 and the Wald, uh, 1 and Waldviertel Linie 23, and before after counts. And you see, and uh, we have good luck that the, the province of Law Austria, they make on a regular basis, they make passenger counts. So we have one year before, one year after. So we see the general trend. So we have plus 19% of users in the system at all, because this was newly established. Also, there was some information going around from, from, the, from the public transport operator, and more and more people uh, start to use this person. So do you see uh, there was an increase of, of usership, but on the Waldfeld Linear Ends, we had um, an over average increase of 33% uh, of additional public transport users. And this is already, I mentioned, you say the limitations. In the Waldfeld Linear 23, we have the two dis disadvantages. We have not too many potential people we could access because too few people were living on this short line. And on the other side, when we contacted them, everyone said, come on, three times per day, a bus. This is not really an offer for me. And we have to agree at all. And as you see, for example, for this very thin line, we could not really make any changes. So all people, they need to use the bus because they had no choice. They were already in the bus. And we could not really convince other people on this. So this is maybe the limitation. But as far as there is some acceptable timetable available, let's say a one hour timetable, also every hour bus on the peak time. Uh, we would say this is uh, an acceptable timetable for a rural area. Uh, then we can talk about and then we can see also some success. There are some uh, other uh, specific usage changes as you see here, but I think I will skip this as time is running. And I think this is also my last slide. Yeah, this is just a timetable where we are and where we will have the implementation.